for the first time in more than three months, Brussels terror attack victim Sebastian Berlin is waking up at home in Michigan with his family. An image of the former basketball player wounded and bleeding on the Brussels airport floor was seen all around the world. Vladimir Dutier of our streaming network CBSN has been following Berlin's recovery in Belgium and the U.S. And now only on CBS This Morning, Vlad is here with Sebastian's emotional return home. Vlad, good morning. Good morning. When I last saw Seb in Belgium, just one week after the attacks, he was still broken and bedridden, but brimming with optimism. Yesterday, I saw just how far he's come, both physically and emotionally. Yo, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Oh, man. What's up, you. man? It's good to Look see at you. you. Hold on, you know what I'm going to do for you? What? Hold on, stay right there. All right, come on. What's up? Give me a hug. I can't reach you now. <laughs> Standing tall. That's up. Sebastian That's Benez's progress can be measured in feet. Six feet, nine inches to be exact. You've been doing really well. Um, we've ran a couple tests, and, and other than that, it's been pretty uneventful, which is what we, what we need. Six miles, three, two, one. After two weeks at the University of Michigan Hospital, he said goodbye to his medical staff before returning to the place he's been working so hard to get to, home. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo, you're home! Sam, what were you thinking when you walked through that door? When you overcome these, thing, these type of things, it's, uh, it's a step-by-step -step process. A process that lasted more than three months and included six surgeries and painful physical therapy. His wife, Sarah, has been there every step of the way. How does it feel to have Seb home? It's wonderful. I'm very, very, very excited to have him here and um, have his presence back in the house and have him around and hear his voice and see his big smiling face. Yeah. <laughs> it's that eternal optimism that he says has helped carry him through to this point and into the future. The positive approach works. I'm convinced it works because I just beat death. Surviving has taught both Seb and Sarah to appreciate the little things in life that matter. He was almost taken away. And so I try to be grateful for every little moment. Is being able to read a story to your girls at night, lay on the couch. It's all these things that people take for granted that, you know, we're very close to being taken away. And it's the addition of all these little things that really makes a quality life. It's still a long road ahead for Seb. His doctors say it'll be another two months or even three before he's able to walk without assistance, but that is not slowing him down. He plans to resume his duties as a tennis coach to his two daughters this afternoon. Oh, gosh, I got goosebumps when he walked in with, walked in with yeah. both legs. Yeah, we all did. I mean, we were holding back the tears yes, because it was so Brad. emotional. Oh you know, gosh. you've provided us with a diary of survival. Yeah. Thank you, Charlie. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been an honor and a privilege for us to be able to track his progress. Yeah, yeah when you walked in, dude, and he looks so good. The shot of him cradling his daughters is beautiful, I love it, Vlad. right there, yeah. Really nice. Thank Go you. seven family. That's so nice.